Hey, what's up, guys? So we're back for round seven of Dortmund. Um, yeah, it's over. YCS is over, but I haven't watched these games, so I want to watch them, give a little reaction, while at the same time sleeving up a new deck to do a deck profile. So um, might as well get two for one, have a little bit of entertainment while we're going. And uh, yeah, we're going to play this back at 1.75 speed here. And... Um, Kind of just see how it goes. Right, so, so uh, in this one, we have Unchained versus Pearly, which, if I'm not mistaken, is like the first actual meta matchup of the uh, feature matches. So, um, yeah, should be a good one. I haven't actually watched too much Unchained live because they haven't had too many um, YCSs where Unchained's been meta. Uh, that have actually been streamed, so um, yeah, I'm kind of actually looking forward to this game, and I want to see the Unchained versus Pearly matchup. I gotta imagine Unchained wins pretty handily, but uh, anyways. So we have Ash on Prosperity here to start off the Pearly player's turn. I also saw, okay, they have Street, they have Imperm in hand, and then, what is that, Pretty Memory? Discarding the Imperm. So uh, they're gonna go ahead and summon, what, the Pearlily probably? and kind of set up the trap and war and draw four or something of the sort i do need to get some ulti impermanence those are very beautiful and you know what kind of feels bad while watching all these eu streams is how much nicer their ultis look feels bad but hey whatever um so yeah uh we have per lily searching the trap here we go he's gonna use rank up into i'm guessing the um e pearly noir there we go targeting the pretty and then oh no he's going into beauty interesting Okay, uh, so he goes into beauty, then he's going to use street to attach a sleepy, so he can draw on the standby phase a couple times. Don't mind me, I'm just sorting for the new deck, which is going to be Adventure Plunder. I do want to do an updated profile on that, so uh, just putting that together really quick while watching the games. Um, beauty is going to, or did he already draw one? What's going so on here? Like what phase are we in? Low, uh, okay, we're in main phase. That's uh, yeah, the, uh, Abomination's Prison. Uh, to search. Uh, uh, let's see what he gets here. That looks like a Rua. Or it's a level 3. It's probably a Rua. It's the only thing you would probably want to search. Uh, set 1. Activate. Or, oh no, here's Leap on the set. Okay. I like it. Uh, leap on the set so that way when he goes Rua, activate, he can just spin back the set card. There's the DDD. Um, yeah, that's tough. It's dark contract. Uh, hopefully he doesn't spin it on activation or on activation of the spell just on the effect okay there's requiem requiem target the spell card so that's gonna spin back the requiem okay well what if you spin back the spell card is requiem just kind of sit there because now he can just search the requiem next turn again or did he just search requiem again okay arua target the set then he Noir targeted the set, and then he still had Trevara in hand target the set, so um, his effects are still going to go through, and he's gone through both Expertly Noirs, he's got two level 6s, still with one set card, I don't know what it is, on the pearly side. Uh, so I'm interested to see what's going on there. Uh, summons the Arua, and then scoops it up. All right, so that was a quick and easy game one um, win for the Unchained player. I guess Pearly, that Ash on the Prosperity really hurt um, the Pearly player there, it must have. So, uh, yeah, we're going to skip ahead through the side deck on to game two here and see how that goes. I want to sort out this deck. Looking forward to playing some Adventure Plunder again, so... Hopefully that goes well. All right, so on to game two. Let's see how this goes. Pearly, I imagine, is going to go first again. All right, another prosperity. Let's see if there's another Ash here for it. That would be devastating. One for one trades against Pearly is kind of rough because they require discards for all their stuff. Okay, so we have Eclipse. Hold on, let me pause here. Eclipse, Pearly, Imperm Judgment. Street and another pot. 
Um, I don't know what his hand is. Okay, he's just going to take the judgment, which means he has enough stuff to play in his hand already. Uh, activates Lily. Normal summon Lily. Activate effect. Activates my friend. All right, my friend Pearly pays for 500 life points. My friend uh, effect pay five. Uh, I suppose pantheism of the monarch. You can reveal three Pearly spells from your deck. Uh, Good your deal. Uh, gets to pick a face down. Um, typically, uh, free forbidden list. Reveal, reveal three sleepies. Uh, sleepy uh, Add one. It took me a long time to. Well, I still don't fully know, but um, to learn what the pl what the Pearly cards do. Okay, there's sleepy. Discard to summon a Pearly. Let's see if he hits on the mill three or the excavate three. Okay, pretty per lily and pearly. He does hit, so that's good. Adds the spell card. Let me make sure I'm actually recording here. I am. Hey, that's good. Uh, okay, and then we have. Activate Pearl Lily, attack Sleepy, summon E Pearly Noir. Okay, activate. What is that? Yep, so this lets you draw that happy. Uh, but also lots of good chain onto all the XE early uh, monsters that yep. attack and then he's uh, going to be set the the most beneficial effects. It's not really a strategy we've seen uh, I guess uh, since the uh, Zudia format. Uh, having uh, having materials that allow you to get the bonus effects from your uh, monsters that you summon here. So uh, we saw the sleepy memory for example, we saw uh Wonder the Patrol. Uh, card that give you attack, uh Patrol. life and waste for okay. one second allows you to get multiple attacks and searches with the uh happy XE as well. So you're going uh, second as well as going first. Now he's going uh, incredibly powerful, incredibly versatile, you have so many options because of all the different effects you're okay, hits field spell, that's really clutch. This time we got the field spell, so even though I've wasted is way ahead in this game. Advantage. Okay, we're gonna activate field spell. Are we gonna overlay the two pearlies into what? Ensemble or Sylvan? Wrestle Starling. We're gonna go for a DD Crow. That's very cool. Okay, that's nice. I haven't seen that. But I mean, it's like a new format thing, so still sweet. Still sweet play. I do appreciate it. Uh, here. Uh, we got a set two here. Uh, where the hell are uh, my really the, uh, beards? One of the main issues with Pearly is uh, you can lose the Herald of the Abyss. Um, so when you have something like... Yeah, uh, Pearly uh, is uh, dominating uh, right uh, now. Uh, actually, so uh, good for uh, that guy. Uh, in response to Herald, it means that you get to protect your, uh, your X-Billy Noir. Yeah, that's what I'm even sure. playing in this deck. Still, you talked about it. There is XYZ Encore in the deck of Jordan. So if he gets access to that card, that e Pearly Noir might not be a problem anymore. Pearly is Low doing all well. Like oh, yeah, he's Encore. Ooh, that's big in the draw phase. Get rid of that. Doesn't get the draws. Is a quality side in. That's rough. That's rough against the curly player. But what can we do? Um, summons back the for Lily. And then gets the two uh, spell cards and then the uh, street. It's gonna activate. Summon another pearly. So yeah, we're still doing a fine. Uh, there's pearly one. Pearly, I mean pearly one. One pearly two. And you did mention it. A part of uh, my tournament experience that I always love is seeing on Friday the cards that you know people go to other official vendors or around you know to find and talk about. Oh, okay, he messed up the chain link, so the pearl lily. He didn't activate the pearl lily on time. Someone like Jordan is actually having success with it. In the proper chain links. Two of the main ways to deal with the pearly noir is the encore, and there's also the trust of the abyss. But I think encore just generally works a little bit better instead of abyss because you know if you don't let them get that bonus effect, wait, wasn't standby phase. Yeah, changes a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Still, Dabby's going to have a lot of resources, and you're just denying that now. Well, he's getting both effects anyway, and he missed it completely. So, okay. So, yep. Standby main now. Um, I don't know what interruptions he has set. I'm guessing an imperm or something. There's tour guide. An imperm now. Some judgment on the tour guide. Okay, yeah, you have to do that. Like, imperm on tour guide is rough because if they have Charvara in hand, you're toast. It's like DG. Okay, Abomination's uh, Prison. Like one of those sets is Leap. I don't know what the other one is. Um, set one, activate Shavara. Pops uh, escape. He does have DD Crow in hand though, so that's going to be good. When it becomes relevant. Yeah, totally. So, what are we going to summon out here? I think it would either be Sarama or just Shayama. Yeah, Gets is. out the uh, other level six, Shayama. Uh, is that that one? That like not really great to draw. It's Goes one into one. Yama here. Yama 1, Shavara 2, I'm guessing. 
be super powerful link to probably the main reason this deck is now absolutely sad. I'm what well I'm guessing was, um, and as per usual, with uh, beam intern link twos, they are very whatever the master reborn one, multiple packs, one on the field, which has already resolved just searching out one, and then the graveyard, you can just banish it to someone back in the graveyard, too. Okay, he has Arua in hand. There we go, pops the spell, I mean the trap card, and he's going to summon the Sarama here, Sarama effect targeting the trap, the DD Crow that, right? I don't know what else you go into. Okay, pop sets the trap, pops the Arua. Where do you DD Crow? Like, obviously, you want to DD Crow the level 6 water, the blue dog, but um, I don't know if he, when he's going to activate that. Okay, there's Bobby Hole, Unchained Soul. Good card, discard one to pop, non targeting. Pretty good. Let's see what he hits. Hits the back row, which is a pretty memory. Right? Did I get that right? Sorry if I don't know my correct pearly spells by the artwork. Okay, there he DD crows the level 6 blue dog. Um, now we can start like going, we can go link 3, anguish into. Talents take, make anguish, slurp up another one. That's rough. And his other set is pearly. So, like, what interruptions do you even have left? Is the pearly guy just toast here? And that XC's Encore was huge. Such a big hit. Okay, there's Rakea. Talents to take. Wait, what? What did I miss? Okay, takes pearly. Link 3 into Anguish. Anguish effect, slurp up into abomination, attack, 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 GG, holy, what a game, that was a blowout, um, yeah, Unchained is a good deck, and I think Pearly is kind of, yikes, I don't know, I guess it was the XC's Encore, like without that Encore, Pearly was so far ahead, but yeah, that'll do it, so I'll catch you guys in round 8 in a minute, see you soon.